Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna to be making bacon cheeseburgers. All right, we're gonna start with two onions, peel them, dice them, and we're gonna get them plated in a bowl. We're gonna have pepper jack cheese, cheddar cheese we're gonna go ahead and cube those up um, I cubed them into three sections and just slice them up after that did the same thing with the cheddar put them in the bowl to the side next we're gonna go ahead and get our meat out and into a bowl we're gonna mash it down a little bit we're gonna fold it onto the cutting board because I didn't use a big enough bowl Use those seasonings that you see on the screen. Again, seasoning is subjective. We're gonna season it till your ancestors tell you to stop. So today we use onion powder, garlic salt, seasoning salt, smoked paprika. Just go ahead and get that tossed into the meat. Now I season generously with a lot of smoked paprika because I actually like the taste of paprika. Gives it a nice smoky smell. Now that we got all our seasonings done, we're gonna go ahead and use our hands at this point and fold the seasoning into the meat. Get everything folded, folded. Use your fingers, press it in, fold it, press, fold, press. Transfer it back to the bowl. And once we transfer it back to the bowl, we're gonna take one of those two onions that we cubed up and add it into the meat mixture. Once we add it into the meat, we're gonna fold it in incorporated into all of the meat so we're gonna use the using a wooden spatula just gonna dig holes and then fold poke holes and fold and just keep folding until all your onions are incorporated somewhere into the meat now as you see here this is a princess house press hamburger maker so we're gonna take a couple spoonfuls to use tablespoons Add them into this silver container. Once we add it into the container, we're gonna get the press portion and we're actually gonna press it down, take it off. We're gonna add two cubes of cheese, one of each flavor is what I did. Stick it into the meat, grab that same spoon and add maybe one to two more spoonfuls of meat on top of the cheese. And we're gonna go ahead and press it down. It's gonna seal it all together. We're gonna take it off, take the bottom portion off, and that's your perfectly made meat. Now, what I did was I actually sprayed it with some um, some oil so that the meat didn't stick. We're gonna take out the saran wrap, and we're actually gonna add our patty, fold it nice and tight, and we're actually gonna add this to the fridge. We're gonna add it to the fridge so that it firms up. All right, so we got our skillet out. We have it up to about 300 degrees and we're gonna add in some bacon because we're gonna make bacon cheeseburgers. And we're gonna add some patties on and we're just gonna let that start cooking. Now, once you, once you did put the meat in the freezer, you usually wanna leave it at least 30 minutes at, up to overnight or until you're ready, but you definitely want it cold and firm start flipping your burgers so that you know one side doesn't burn and so that your meat will cook all the way through same thing I'm flipping the bacon in the back as well just so that they cook evenly and one side doesn't burn now you, once your bacon is cooked all the way through which will of course happen before the meat you're gonna take your bacon off and transfer it to another container to drain off the excess grease You want to make sure that your meat's at least 170 degrees Fahrenheit internal temp. We're almost there. We're just going to keep cooking until we reach that internal temp. The 
definitely want to have that internal temp to 170 because you don't want to get sick. So you want your meat to be fully cooked all the way through. Once you're done, you just go ahead and get your hamburger buns. We're going to put butter on ours because we're going to light mayo. We're going to add the burger patty. As you see, the cheese is melted. Lettuce, ketchup, bacon. Is your presentation.